Hello there, my name's Dave Allen. I'm Good and Geeky. Today we're looking at the applications Die Early and Day One. I've been using Day One for about 11 years now and it's a brilliant application. I really like it. And I'd be hard pressed to change over to a different application. But I've been having a look at Die Early and it looks pretty good. It's quite similar in a lot of ways. I've moved a lot of data, a lot of entries from uh, day one over into Diary Apps, so I can have a look at it properly. Although the export process or the input process, one of the two, they didn't work quite right. And I didn't get all of the uh, documents in there, so I didn't get a lot of the pictures in there that were in day one already. They didn't move across, so that would be a bit did make it a bit difficult for me to swap over from one application to another. So let's have a look at the web pages for these two applications and see the differences between them. We've got day one here, and you've got a lot of stuff in day one. It's really good. It's does everything you need. If we go to uh, pricing, for instance, this is where it's a little bit interesting because here it's um, two ninety two per month, and whereas the pricing on this other one, it's uh, around about two euros a month or two dollars a month. So it's a bit cheaper. Either both of these applications, you can actually use them free if you want to. It's just that uh, it depends if you want to have uh, some of the extra features or not. For me, having the extra features in day one makes it worth me paying for it. I use it every day anyway. I mean, I'm on a streak now of about 1,700 um, entries. So I like to keep it up. I like to keep it going. And um, if I use um, if I was used daily, then I'd be doing the same. But the difference per year would only be about 10, 10, 11 dollars or euros. So I don't know if it'd be worth changing, to be quite honest. But even so, if you're starting fresh now with keeping a journal, then you could do worse than having a look at daily. Anyway, so what do we get with uh, pricing with this one here? You can see that with the uh, this is da this is day one. You can put in videos, audio recordings. You get uh, voice to text transcription drawings and you've got an Instagram importer and all these sort of things here that you can add uh, because you're paying for it and I kind of think it makes it well worth paying for it so but that's up to you it depends on how much of a journaler you are so and then with this one here the number of journals you get unlimited journals password protection synchronization these things are important you're going to need these things so you you'd want to pay for it really if you're going to use in your uh, uh, journal on your iPhone and your iPad as well as on your um, on your desktop computer then you want to have um, um, the uh, paid for version the premium version you want to be able to password protect and use uh, your uh, face scanner or your fingerprint scanner to protect your, um, your journal as well so let's have a look at the actual applications themselves so at the top here I've got day one and the bottom here I've got dialy now this is the same uh, entry on both um, applications. What I did was select four images in the finder and I dragged them and dropped them into the both applications. On the application Dialy, it shows the ampersand.svg file there, but it just doesn't show the picture, it just shows that it was tried to be brought in there. Whereas on day one there, it didn't actually do anything, it just ignored it because it couldn't do anything with it. So I think in some ways the day one way of going about that actually worked a little bit better. And also in day one, we've got a better arrangement of the images on the page than you get with Diary. In the left panel on both of these applications, we're looking at the timeline, but we can change it to pictures and do that on the Diary one. On the Diary one, you can see that it didn't bring all the pictures in there. I have a lot more pictures available to look at in the day one version, just because I've been using the application for so long. Also, we can use maps on Diary. We've got this one here and it's slow to work on the maps it uh, doesn't zoom in straight away i can't make the uh, panel any bigger to look at the map a bit better whereas on day one they're looking at the maps it zooms into uh, uh, where you're looking at before on there you see you don't have to mess about zooming in so much and you get a better view it works faster and you can make the maps area bigger as well so a whole lot of things going for the day one up there over the top of what you can do in diary. We've got uh, the calendar view. Let's go to calendar view on that one, calendar view on the other one as well. So in day one there, it does look a little bit prettier. You've got pictures in there. You've got the different colors there. The colors represent the journals that you've been using. If it's a straightforward blue one, it means you're just using the ordinary journal. If you've got a black one there, maybe it's to do with one of the various journals that you've got, such as maybe the red one is for computers. 
I can't remember which colours go with which now, but you've got those uh, different colours in there, which makes it look a little bit prettier than the one there with uh, Daily, which you've just got basic round things for your daily entries, and you've got a number when there's more than one entry in there. So in day one, we've got a colourful list of journals there. And this one here, you've got different journals as well. So those are all the journals I brought in from day one. I'm pleased to see that in Daily there you can do a filter on this day. One of my favourite features on day one that I can have a look at what happened on this day, this time last year and all the years in the past when I've been using the application. Really, really useful that is. So both of them have that on this day thing, which is good. One of the useful premium features in day one is that if you're a user of Instagram, every time you put something in Instagram, it will automatically appear in day one as well. That's kind of useful, especially if you use Instagram a lot. This is Dave Allen looking at two applications for Journaling, Day One and Daily, and they're both good applications. I'd recommend either of them if you're just starting out. Uh, for me, because I've been using Day One for such a long time, there's not such a huge big difference in the price. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be staying with Day One, but I'd be half tempted um, to go over to Daily because it's a good application anyway. And I think you've probably got a lot of promise for the future when the uh, developer of it um, gradually increases uh, its facilities and what it can do and improves the application the way it works. Um, so there you go. This is Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Having a look at what I can do with journaling applications, daily and day one. Which one do you prefer? Tell me in the comments below.